Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about an important but often overlooked component in your car, the vacuum pump. I'll explain what it does, why it's essential, and how to know when it's failing. 1. What does a vacuum pump do? The vacuum pump is mainly used in diesel engines and some gasoline engines. Its main job is to create vacuum pressure for different systems in the car. The most common uses include brake booster, helps provide power-assisted braking, EGR valve, controls exhaust gas recirculation to reduce emissions, turbocharger actuator, regulates turbo boost pressure, HVAC system, helps control air conditioning vents and flaps. 2. Benefits of a vacuum pump in a car, improves braking performance, makes braking easier and safer, enhances engine efficiency, helps with emissions control and fuel economy, supports turbo performance, ensures the turbocharger functions correctly, reliable AC and vent control, ensures smooth operation of climate control. Three signs your vacuum pump is failing. Hard braking. If your brake pedal feels stiff and harder to press, the vacuum pump may not be generating enough pressure. Engine performance issues, rough idling, loss of power or hesitation when accelerating, hissing or whistling noises. This could indicate a vacuum leak. Check engine light. If the pump fails, the engine control unit, ECU, may detect a problem and turn on the warning light. Poor turbo performance. If your turbocharger isn't boosting properly, a faulty vacuum pump could be the cause. 4. What to do if your vacuum pump is bad? Inspect for vacuum leaks. Check hoses and connections for cracks or leaks. Test the pump. A mechanic can check the vacuum pressure to confirm if it's working. Replace if needed. If the pump is completely faulty, it needs to be replaced to restore proper engine function. So that's everything you need to know about the vacuum pump in your car. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more car tips. Let me know in the comments if you've ever had issues with your vacuum pump. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.